Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the world of artificial intelligence, AI, and a development that's shaking things up. Devin, the first ever AI software engineer. Buckle up because this might change the coding game. For years, writing code required human input. Developers typed away, bringing ideas to life line by line. But a US-based startup called Cognition has introduced something revolutionary. Devon, a fully autonomous AI software engineer. Forget co-pilot assistance. Devon is a full-fledged teammate for human engineers. Unlike chatbots, Devon can not only write code, but also specialize in specific areas. This is a major leap forward in AI research and development. Now, some might be worried about job security. Interestingly, Devon's arrival coincides with layoffs in the IT sector. But Cognition assures us Devon is here to augment, not replace developers. Think of Devon as a coding superhero. Funded by tech giants like Peter Thiel, PayPal, and Tony Hsu, DoorDash, Devon boasts impressive abilities. He can access developer tools, plan complex tasks, and even fix bugs, all within a secure environment. This frees up developers to focus on the real magic. Devon handles the tedious tasks, allowing human engineers to unleash their creativity on projects that require human intelligence. So, who is Cognition? They're an AI startup focused on applying logic to AI, aiming to automate coding and bug fixing, turning ideas into reality. With funding from tech titans and a team with impressive backgrounds, including gold medalists from Google DeepMind and Waymo. Cognition is a force to be reckoned with. Devon's arrival raises questions about the future of coding. Will AI take over the software development world? While Devon is a powerful tool, it's unlikely to replace human ingenuity entirely. More likely, we'll see a future where humans and AI work together, each playing to their strengths for truly innovative solutions. What do you think? Is Devon a coding game changer? Let us know in the comments below.